Hello, in today's Microsoft Excel teaching, I will show you how to use Excel Quick Analysis. Well, Excel Quick Analysis will be great out if you don't have data in your worksheet. So you have a blank worksheet now. And how do we get to Excel quick analysis in uh, just in any part of the worksheets right click you see quick analysis is grayed out so the first thing we do because it's for analysis and you cannot analyze data you don't have that is why by default it is grayed out when you don't have data in your worksheet or if you click outside of a table where there is no data then the function will be grayed out so let's make a quick table let's call the first field let's call it store and the next field here we make it that item A followed by item B. We want to create a scenario of a st of uh, stores that sell uh, that sell uh, different uh, about four or three or four different items. We want to compare their performance assuming you are the supplier you supply to various stores for different items and you want to compare their sales performance let's create that scenario and let's see what quick analysis can help us to do all right so item c and item D. All right. Let's give this to A, B, C, D, E. All right. Let's stop at that now. Let's input figure as I'm doing this. Well, you can just try and see if you can guess what number I'm going to type in while I'm doing that. These are random numbers. So while you're doing your own if you want to practicalize what we are doing or you want to follow this uh lesson while you while i'm doing it and you're doing your own too so you can just generate your own random number So we have item A populated and let's move on to item B and uh, continue like that.
All right. So we we'll continue with that. And once we have our table, then we can start the analysis. But we cannot analyze if we don't have data populated. Finally, item D. Okay, so we have our table populated now. So the next thing we want to do is let's click. Remember, I'll click outside here and see. It's a quick analysis. Great, great out. Let me click into one of. You see, quick analysis is populated now, and uh, we can use it now. So, click on that. You see, it has highlighted the table for you. And today, what we will do is because we have various functions here. So, we have formatting, we have charts. Let's just say if you want to do, you can see that. And if you want to change colors, we can change colors. You can group the data and assign color to them then we go to to uh, total so you see this icon set but we're still coming back there you see greater than then top 10 percent these are the figures that are within top 10 percent and if you want to clear everything so let me go to the totals here, the first thing I want you to understand is once you see this, look at the table and see where it is highlighted. That is where the sum will go. It will run the total uh, of each field or what we call columns. And if you put it to the side, it will run the total sales for each store so we can actually do both and still find a percentage uh, performance for each of the two uh, items that is uh, the four items per store and per item so let's start with per item okay so that means we go back here and just click on this you have that let's go back quick analysis okay so let's see more and here we we can you can see percentage here and let's go down here percentage let's find a percentage for one percentage we put the percentage here 
but if you want this and you want the sum and you still want the percentage then what you do is grade it out then you need to go here highlight it yourself and include the sum then right click to get your quick analysis and you can then go back to totals and find total percentage so here we have the total percentage of each items to the total sales to the total sales maybe volume for the month okay so we have done that now let's see the performance of each store remember this is store a and the addition of item a item b item c and item d will show us how well store a, a has performed for the month so let's go back just right click quick analysis okay sorry about that i clicked out of it okay now we're going back to total and we want the sum here so we have the sum and now we want the percentage contribution of each store to the total so remember what we have down here is percentage contribution of each item to the total sales for the month now we want the performance of each store now so what we do is I like it and go back to quick analysis total and find more and we go to this and now we have the percentage contribution of each store oh, I think I made sorry I made a mistake here I shouldn't have added uh, this I should, at this point I should leave this one out okay yeah okay then we can go this way now quick analysis totals then we go here and now we have percentage of each of the stores and that is how you can use quick analysis function to to get a to a sum and as well get a percentage performance of each item on your table there are many other functionalities within quick analysis which i have shown you you can have a bars drawn by the side of the data there you can change you can assign colors based on you can draw charts see different charts so you can actually create your dashboard using this see all right let me go back to spark lines see this is another thing you can you can do and even within uh, total we did not exhaust everything you have average you have count you have a uh, I think those are basically the 
most important things in the then you this you can find mean the mean of as the average you can do average count all right so that is all we will discuss about quick analysis in this video how to use quick analysis function to sum your data and to find percentage please if you have not subscribed subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video so that others also can have access to it the more you like it the more it's made available to more people we appreciate your time and you liking the video and subscribing to the channel see you in the next video thank you